Breast cancer is the leading cause of cancer among females worldwide. In terms of death or mortality, it is top three most common cause of death due to cancer worldwide. I am Dr. Jean Chonko. I am a plastic surgeon. I am based in St. Luke's Medical Center in Global City. I am also the board secretary of the Philippine Association of Plastic, Reconstructive and Aesthetic Surgeons, or the PAPRAS. Breast cancer is caused by abnormal cells inside the breast tissue, which produces cancer in the breast. Breast cancer is the leading cause of cancer among females worldwide. In terms of death or mortality, it is top three most common cause of death due to cancer worldwide. It is always recommended that your patient check their breast either weekly or daily. Any change in the breast should warrant a medical checkup. When I say change, change such as a formation of a cyst or a lump or a mass, patients should right away see their doctor. Any discharge in the nipple is also a cause of concern. Any changes in the skin or any pain or swelling within the breast should warrant a checkup with a doctor. It is recommended that you see a doctor at least once a year. If you have a strong family history of breast cancer, then it is also recommended that you see a doctor at least three to six months. The treatment for breast cancer will depend upon the staging of the breast cancer. When I say staging, the lower the stage, the less invasive the procedure is. So it can start from wide excision of the breast cancer mass all the way to total mastectomy with lymph node dissection when the stage has increased. There are also adjuvant therapies such as chemotherapy and radiotherapy if the breast cancer is far advanced. In terms of plastic surgery, plastic surgery comes in to recreate the whole breast mound of the patient. This is where breast reconstruction comes in, wherein the plastic surgeon utilizes the patient's own tissue to recreate a new breast, or sometimes they use a foreign body such as a silicone implant to recreate a new breast for the patient. The best prevention for breast cancer is performing a self-breast examination. It's recommended that you perform a self-breast examination and look for irregularities such as a mass, a lump, changes in the skin of the breast, discharge from the nipple, and pain and swelling. The best advice is vigilance. Women or patients should be aware of the different changes in the breast. So it is very important to perform a self-breast examination. Stay healthy so you can lead meaningful lives.